there's a concerned person um, at a Costco saw a mother mistreating her own son, okay? There was a confrontation. Let me take you to the video, here it is. I'm recording you lady, cuz this is definitely abuse. You know what, you're abusive, get out of my face. Do not come now. near me. Well, we gotta call the police right now. I really don't care what you do, honestly. Great, wonderful. You're not right either, so bye. Are you okay? Stop it. People are calling the cops because you're acting like a moron. No, because you're acting wrong. You know what? Why don't you mind your own business? Yes. You slammed him against the wall and told them him against anything. And told him you're going to punch him in front of all these people here. Yes, I did. I let him on my child. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. The child continued to hang his head low, did not make eye contact with his mother or anybody else. Um, I was a foster kid and I was a victim of physical abuse myself. I work with foster kids today. Many of them are in that foster situation because of physical abuse. And when you see a parent physically abusing their child, um, I do think you should say something. Now it's a double edged sword, it really is. And I have to just mention it because it's real. Sometimes the parents take it out even more so on the child. You saw what that mother did. When she was confronted about her abuse inside of that store, she looked at her very young kid and said, this is your fault because you're acting like a moron. Zero responsibility for her actions. Now, once you do something like this in front of me, you have made it my business, mine. And I have had to get involved in situations like this publicly before. I do it every time. It's a catch 22 because as I said, sometimes the mother can go the opposite direction and try to treat the young person even worse. Um, David, what are your thoughts on this one, brother? Look, I mean, this one hits me as a parent um, because yeah. um, I, I weep. I mean, it just uh, for that uh, poor kid. Um, and you know, we find out that some people who think that you know they want to be parents and then they become parents and they really shouldn't be parents. Or there are people who go through a mental health crisis and they take it out on the people who are close to them. In any case, when this woman says, to your point, Dr. Ritchie, mind your own business. No, it is all of our business. It is society's yeah. business to try to help people who are the least fortunate among us. In this case, this poor child. And if that involves, if that involves getting some help for this mother, getting her some resources, trying to find out is she in the midst of some sort of mental health breakdown, whatever it is, all of us have a responsibility because what happens, Dr. Ritchie, as you know, is that when a child faces this kind of behavior from their parents, that kid is likely to replicate it when they grow up. And this becomes a terrible cycle that gets perpetuated. And at a certain point, all of us, all of us have to step in. That's right, and even if they don't replicate it, it becomes psych psychologically damaging to their development, their social skills, their social uh, progress, at where they will later likely have to seek professional help uh, in order to get over that. I wanna put a number up on the screen. If you ever witness something like this, mistreatment, I want you to call this number, all right? 1-800-799-SAFE. You can call that number 1-800-799-7233 or go to the hotline.org. And you can also text start at 88788, all right?